Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for The Banner Saga 2. We are outside the gates of Arboring. Uh, we just met with the king, who is going to let our people in, although we did just get ambushed by Rugga, who is a jerk. And now we've got to fight his people. Uh, we do have Canaria on our side now. She does have the poison ability, which I don't know why Deirdre does not, but I'm confused. I mean, I suppose we could promote you, and no, it wouldn't give you the thing. So, yeah, I don't know. All right, let's go. Ambush, mine off. You're wounded. Just a flesh wound, though. I feel odd. Must have been poison tipped. Take Rugga. Rally the troops. Hmm, so we got four back here, three up here, and one over here by, by himself. All right, we're going to put... Oh, we can't put you over there. Uh, yes, we can. Move you out of the way. We're going to put you over here against this group. Wish we could put somebody there, but we cannot. Um, You're going to come up here, I guess, to try and move up against that group as well. Let's move you out of the way. Let's move you up here to try and do whatever. Uh, Rook... Honestly, just all three of you guys just kind of hang out back here a little bit, and this will be fine. All right, let's go. Um, I mean, I really just want to move you up as much as I can. Actually, I could do the little knockback thing, right? Maybe. Although there's nothing to knock you back into back here. So never, that might not actually work the way I want it to. I mean, all these guys are pretty strong. Let's say bring the pain. Nice deflection. Ruggers even been recruiting clansmen or cragsmen. Oh, you're just going to die instantly. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Goodness gracious, how do you get that? Oh my goodness. I've never been that lucky with those group, those types of guys. Really? Really? Goodness gracious. Yeah, there's still a level 12 guy back there somewhere. Um, can't get to a spot to get a shot on him, unfortunately. 
So, I guess we'll go for this guy that's got eight. I think we'll poison him as well. I get a shot on this guy with her, so I guess we'll move you all, all the way over here. Do we want to pin you? Nah, pin okay, so pinning just reduces movement. I misunderstood what pinning did. So I think we'll just attack here. really need the break though so I don't know if we're gonna do that actually I think we just attack I'd say it's really just this guy now so we'll just it's basically one shot him and everybody else is basically basically dead at this point very low health Um, I guess we'll move you up and just do this thing on you, just because it will, uh, Hakan will just kill him for us. I mean, it's a 40% chance, I guess. Better than nothing. Alright, fair enough. Cool. Although, I guess I could have gotten the kill with her to get her a level up. She got it anyway. Good stuff. But that is enough to get Rook to level 10. King Minoff regains his footing and falls back towards Arboring's walls as his forces rush past him and into the fray. You wave the banner of Skogar and your clans surround you. To the gates you shout over the clash of axes and hammers on shields. By the time your caravan is inside Arboring's outer wall, the gate is mostly compromised. Rugged's forces are on your heels and they brought bears. Cut them off or they'll overrun as shouts King Minoff before wincing and grabbing his side where Rugga stabbed him. Um. You know, let's just go ahead. Let's charge. Let's get into this. The roar of battle swells to deafening levels. You focus on the drum beat that is your heart. Ready your weapon and push toward or to deliver death. All right, let's get you promoted finally. Uh, we'll get you a point there, and I guess the last point can just kind of go wherever. Sure, let's just go ahead and keep pushing the crit up. Oh, we actually can't because of our item. Interesting. Or did we already hit three? I think we already hit... My, my, did we already hit three? Actually, I don't know. Um, not sure. We'll do that. Dodge. That all looks good. And of course, we will give you this other item. So now you have plus three to everything. Yep. Plus thirty-five percent bonus crit chance. That's pretty cool. Pretty awesome. Um, 
Uh, what's your promotion cost? 19, so we're not quite there yet. But we definitely want to get you to 9, give you this thing. Probably get you to 8, get you that thing maybe, or get Mogger or one of these guys up to 8. We'll figure it out there. But let's go with this group. This is a good group. Two level 10s, level 8. Yeah, this is a really solid group. I mean, these are two weakest ones. Probably should have reordered people, but this is going to be okay. Bars. There's bars out there. All right. How do I want to organize you guys? Uh, let's get you out of the way for a second. Let's get you kind of off out of the way. I guess I'm going to move you over on this edge. Have you come around this way. You're... Let's get... Oh, you can't move. Never mind. Uh, I guess you're fine where you're at-ish. We'll just kind of come up to this gap. You're going to have to come up behind him, I guess. Um, I guess you can run up this right, this one side. Maybe you can run up this other side. And Rook can just kind of go in the middle. All right, we'll go with that. Starting to feel weak. Did Rugga poison me? Probably. Protect the king! Kill the king! I feel like we're on all, all opposite sides of this uh, strategy here. Alright, let's move you up. Moving you up is a little bit dangerous just because uh, you will be attacked now, presumably. I think I'm going to go ahead and move you up as far as we can. Just get at you in this section over here. All right, no surprise there. Again, oh, I didn't realize we could pidge, pillage that early. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven enemies right now. We could actually pillage right now. I don't know if pillaging this early is what we want. I think I think we will pillage pretty soon, but I think we need to get people in a better position before we trigger something like that. So let's just get... Good attack on him. Can you get close enough to get a shot on him? You cannot. I guess we'll just move you up as much as we can. Call that good enough for now. Could get attack on the bear, it looks like. Actually, we can attack from the bear from this from back here. That's even better. Do we want to poison the bear? Oh, it's right. We can't poison the bear with you. Oh, yeah. I guess we'll do this. Oh, my God. Oh, I forgot the bears absorb with their, with their shield. There. That's fine. Oh, I didn't realize we had you as well, my friend. I mean, I'll move you up just to be in the area, but I don't know that we're going to do much with you. What is your thing? King's will. All elite guards attack simultaneously on command. Hmm. Sure. I don't know what they're going to attack. I'm going to move you around this outside, I think. You are quite strong, my friend. Oh, Hakan! Uh. 
Kind of an awkward group we got going here, but uh, I guess we'll do what we can. Uh, I mean, now might be the time to try that thing. I haven't d used it before. Let's see what happens. It might be a very, very bad idea. All right, you can poison the bear. You can actually do good damage to this guy, can't you? Uh, sorry. Move. Uh. Oh, that's the bear you're seeing. Okay. I mean, I could kill off the bear. I think we're just going to attack this guy up here and try and get some of his shield down. I'm not sure that the pillage did anything. is bad. We lost a guy before they lost a guy. I don't have anybody but to kill but the bear, which is not great. I mean, the bear is still just the biggest threat here. Bear is still taking damage, it's good. I don't get the pillaging thing, I don't think it did anything. Unless there were more mobs of Olive than I realized. I mean, at this point, I think just get rid of some of these guys is probably okay. Although they're still pretty strong. Maybe that was a mistake. I mean, all we can attack here is the bear, which feels like a way... Oh, uh, no, I'm sorry. This, this is Hakan. Power is annoying. Bear should die this turn. Oh, I guess the pillaging was actually working there. That's interesting. All right, we're going to poison tip you. Or just one shot you, so never mind. I mean, we gotta kill something here. I mean, the bear's gonna tick away here next turn. Might as well do something here.
Let's see if we can get a shot on this guy. It'd be slightly better. All right, nice. And well, we got through that all right. We only lost, what, one guy? Two guys? Fight 32 battles in a single playthrough. Wow. All right, we only lost one, it looks like. Bit of renown. I should be able to get her to level nine now. Reinforced gates slam shut behind you while archers on the wall deliver death to those outside attempting to approach. Brave fighting out there, but you should... King Minoff is panting, embracing himself on a knee while grabbing his side where Ruggus stabbed him. But you should know, there is no plan for, for weathering the storm. His hand gestures to a great many things before he gasps and falls to the ground. Menders arrive and take him away. The closed gates, the stench of death, all of it th threatens to turn your stomach and make you sick. I'm, I'm glad we're still alive through all of this, but I know. We fought so hard to get here. For what? To even make it inside Arboring's walls feels hollow now. It wasn't supposed to be like this. We were supposed to save everybody. At least the Khan and the Varl are still with us. Olive's eyes look as empty as you feel as she slowly glances around. What now? Now, I'd really have to find some place to fall asleep and wake up to discover this was all a bad dream. Oddleaf nods her agreement. Uh, but we've got to prepare for Ruggus' retaliation. He'll try keep trying to get in. And then there's the darkness. Juno said we have to hold out until they finish what they set out to do. But how are we supposed to know when they are finished? She said to hold out until the darkness breaks. Until the... They're going to stop the darkness themselves? They're going to try, and we're going to try and stay alive until they do. Oddleaf seems, seems to take strength from your resolve. She takes a deep breath, and her eyes focus on a man running towards you. Rook, the man yells, then gets close. You recognize him as one of your scouts. It's taller, he whispers. They're dead, every one of them. Hoofprints all over the place, too. His words hit you, and his words hit you, and you scan the crowd. Unlike all the other fighters who are now resting, Canary and her horseborn are standing in armed ranks. They all look out of place, yet confident. You even think you see their leader smiling. Are they bad people after all? I wondering if we're going to go to this group or not. Mm, ah, it did not need to come to this. You you killed her. Stop this, Ivan. That's enough. You told me we would be in and out of here. This isn't in and out. We hoped Valka Dusty would be wouldn't be foolish enough foolish enough to attack us. You hoped I would let an escaped prisoner in a dead Valka rob us without a fight. We hoped you would see reason. Reason, yes. What was your reason for breaking the world? You look at Juno, unsure of what to say. You didn't tell me all of this was your fault. Juno looks at you, but says nothing. You've recruited Ingvar, yet kept him ignorant of your actions. Even you had no idea what you're talking about. Even you have no idea what you're talking about, Dussie. Call it, call it a hunch, but whatever is breaking this world stems from the source of our weaving. You, Juno, were sentenced to death for, for manipulating minds. You knew it was forbidden. Valka Dussie... Coughs and then small flecks of blood hit the stone floor. But you were helping Ivan to, what, become a god? Juno says nothing, her anger apparent. Become a god? This doesn't make any sense. And now this darkness, Ivan, what did you unleash to bring her back? Ivan gasps and looks strained. A few stones drop from the walls. Or our cause broke council laws, but that does not make it wrong. You could have realized the importance of our work. You should have. And you two should have stopped. Stopped your curiosities when the council warned you. You still have your life, have each other. Do you even see what you've become? Juno's confidence vanishes at that question. At the question, you have never seen a Valka's tears in, until now. And the Varl, are you threatening to control his mind too? If I were you, Ingvar, I'd. The large door to the Valka's hall shakes from a great impact, then shatters. I was gonna say it's gonna be Bulwark. We will have our vengeance for your deceit. The floor and walls are now glowing, floating and breaking apart. Another Valka enters the room. She looks concerned for the barely conscious Dusty and mortified by Juno. You lied to us. Your oaths meant nothing. 
Bulwark's rage is consuming him, and he is spitting more than speaking. Is that Bellower's body? Not just his body, I fear. Bulwark's mind is not his own. Bulwark looks at you, and his eyes go wide before a cold hatred settles into his stare. We know you murdered Raze and her child. Why is Bellower's body here? He was supposed to... She's supposed to be dead, killed by her own. I'm going to fix that. I'll kill her and you and him. I'll put out this arrow. I'll pull out this arrow and... No! The fear in her voice is infinite. Ivan reacts to her by screaming and the whole tower pulses with crackling energy, shaking violently. Ivor, I'll help Ivan and hold off Dusty. Kill Bulwark. You're the only one who can. Bulwark growls deeply and stands to his full height, brandishing his axes. He looks stronger than ever. Stay where you are, Ingvar. You step forward, but feel the air thicken around you for a moment, stopping you. Then it suddenly releases its grip. No, Zephyr. Now you will do as I say. The Valk Valka Zephyr looks shocked by Juno's control, but you waste no time in charging Bul Bulwark. You slam your head into him with tremendous force, sending him reeling across the room. And I'll be honest with you, the further I play into this game, the less sense any of it makes. I am so confused by this story. I have no idea what's going on. Um, I would say like suspense and, and you know, kind of keeping things kind of going and, and you're not sure what's going to happen yet, you know, is is good to a degree. I would say this is, game has probably extended it a little too much um, to the point of being a little bit annoying. Uh, um so I just, it's like every time we progress in the story, the story gets more vague instead of more clear. And I feel like that's, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the way they're doing the storytelling in this game so far, but we'll play through it. We'll get through it through the end. Cause at this point, I just kind of want to know what in the world's going on. I have zero idea what in the world's going on. I sense another mind within Bulwark. Well, yes, because you probably put it there because you're a crazy psycho person at this point. I'm assuming she's a bad person, is what we've come to, to conclude. I have no idea. She might be a good person. We don't know. Nobody knows what she is anymore. For all of my people who fell to your schemes, you will pay. All of your people? So I guess Bulwark is Sunder now. Maybe, or something else. Nobody knows. Zephyr is under my control, but I think Bulwark is possessed by Bellower. Oh, so that's why Zephyr is fighting, potentially fighting for us. Bellower seems, Bellower seems I'll get payback for my arm after all. Um, we get through here? It looks like we can get through here. So we'll just keep advancing here. Rays and thousands of others will be avenged. Why do you keep yelling? What are you doing? What is this? Lightning strike. Okay. Ivan is losing control. Watch out for the lightning, I guess, what she just said. I wasn't really paying attention. I mean, we can't knock him back into the lightning, so. Wait, what? I'm confused. What is going on here? Did I miss? I missed something that they said, which is annoying. Um. We're just going to die here. This is a little silly. Um, what am I doing? I mean, I think the idea would be to knock him back, but he's not in a position where he can knock him back. So, and we're doing nothing to him. I mean, we're gonna play this out because I, 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 I don't know. Uh, 
Okay. Presumably we can move over here and knock him back. Why is it? Stop. Stop doing that where I can't see. Presumably we can knock him back if we moved all the way over here. The roof of the tower is collapsing along with the walls. Ivan has clearly strained himself beyond his limits. I'm assuming we were supposed to die. The hulking form of Bulwark steps forward you, towards you. Firelight glinting off the blades of Claw and Fang. Ivan, drop the tower, Juno shouts. Protect Ivor, if you can. Bulwark roars, but is dwarfed by the falling stones, and Ivan screams as he loses control. it all right well i may have to tack this on to the end of the last episode because that was very very short yeah i don't know um i mean i i, I like the first one for the most part it was it was it was all right right this one, I'm not, I'm not happy with the story. I feel like the story has gone a direction that I, it's just left us confused, which I, I'll be honest, I'm trying to be nice, but I don't know if it's good storytelling to just leave your audience confused. <clears throat> um, suspense and confusion are two completely different things. Um, suspense, I think, leaves you wanting more. Confusion leaves you hoping it will end soon. And I think that's where I'm at. Hoping that this will all end soon. Which is a really, really sad place to be. Because it's just... I think there's some good elements to this game. But it's just the story is just like... Could you give us a little bit more? Like, just let us know a, a little bit. On, like... You don't have to keep secrets all the time. A actually, there's another way to do storytelling. That maintains the idea of secrets but lets the viewer or the reader or whoever's, you know, however, whatever way you're consuming the story, lets them know behind the scenes the secret, but leaves the actors in the story oblivious and still kind of makes it, um, makes it, um, what am I trying to say? Uh, still makes it a good story without leaving the person who's reading, watching, consuming the, the story just frustrated is probably the best word. I would say I'm frustrated with the story so far. Um, hopefully it clears up in, in level number three. Obvi it has to, right? That's the third one. It's the last one. Hopefully it all clears up there. But right now I'm just like, ugh, almost dreading the third one because I'm just like, is this really going anywhere? Where is this going? It's not, I don't know. We'll find out. I apologize for being negative. I'm not trying to be negative. Uh, it's just, you know, I feel like, like I said, I'm just frustrated, I think, with the way the story's gone. But, 
we'll see. Like I said, I'll probably take this under the end of the last episode. It might be a little bit of a long episode, but it seems silly to have a nine minutes episode. So I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I do hope you join me again uh, next time when we, I don't know, um, figure out where in the world all of this has been going this entire time, hopefully. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.